In today's video, I'm going to be reading Booktuber's 5 star reads to see if I can find some new favourite reads of my own. Starting off with Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin, which is Rachel Catherine's 5 star read. I'm reading Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. I'm on page 21. I'm already crying. I like hate crying on camera because then I edit it and I find it so cringe. Really happy that I'm reading a good book. It's just a very like emotional book so far. So the last time I was updating this, I was crying. I was only like a couple pages in and maybe I was overreacting but I'm on page 151 and it has just started to pick back up because for a little bit it went a bit slow and now it's just picking back up and I'm really enjoying it. I don't know if it will be five stars but I am definitely loving the story, the characters, the world is just so interesting. The video games, so interesting and like the way they're like creating video games, so interesting. I just feel like I know these characters so well already and I feel like that's really hard to do in a general fiction but it is working in this one. This book when I like first read it for some reason I thought it was going to be like a romance love story but it's not. It's platonic love and that is even more perfect. <laughs> Yesterday I was reading some of the book and I didn't like the parts where it was kind of going into Sam's mother's kind of point of view and now today I'm in that same point of view like the chapter I'm reading now but I'm actually enjoying it. Very weird. As soon as I get home and like I'm ready for bed or whatever I'm going to be doing a lot of reading. <laughs> I am finally done with Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. This book was such a weird experience for me because so many ups and downs with just like loving it so much and connecting with the characters like on a different level. Like I felt like I was the characters, felt like I was a player in a game, like so interesting and just so well done. But I can't really explain it. Like honestly, it wasn't boring. Just some parts were a tiny bit boring and then it would pick up straight away, but then it would go like it, it was weird okay so I got to about like here and then I listened to the rest on audiobook while I was coloring in and usually with audiobooks I get distracted I'm not really retaining the information for some reason this audiobook I was like really in like vested in the story like I was hearing every single thing and it kind of just felt like I was like in the world it was very different I'm gonna give this like a high 4.5 I think this is a book that you need to read if you have played video games games and you kind of know about that stuff even if you don't it's still really interesting because obviously I don't really know about like coding and all that and like it doesn't go really into detail about that but it's still very interesting the reason I was crying was because I thought Sam and Sadie were gonna be in this relationship that was like they've always been in love but like they just never admitted their feelings and I suppose it was kind of like that but not really so I'm glad it wasn't to be honest I hate like unrequited love that's like really painful and it goes on for ages and it's just like like I like it but I don't know just not in this book I feel like it would have been a bit too painful I would definitely recommend if you like literary fiction I finally decided what book I'm going to read next. I have actually started this book before. I read about 11 pages and this was like months ago and it wasn't that I wasn't liking it. I just like didn't get into it enough and I was wanted to read something else and I got distracted. But the book I have decided to pick up is Dance of Thieves. Hayley Pham rated this five stars and that was like quite a while ago but I feel like it would hold up. So yeah, this is the book I'm going to read. I'm so excited because I know that this is like enemies to lovers and it's like real enemies to lovers which I I've only read like a couple books that are like real enemies to lovers. I am like very strict on like what I consider enemies to lovers so I hope this hits the mark and obviously the cover is just beautiful. I'm gonna get started with reading this book. I am listening to the audiobook of Dance of Thieves which I am going to go back and forth but I just couldn't really get into like the start of it just because the two like main characters weren't together but I am loving this so much. I'm coloring in while I'm listening to this 
book and I'm literally giggling because it's like close proximity. It is amazing. There's a bit of a scene where like he has to take his shirt off and he's in like the water and hee <laughs> hee. I'm back. I've read a lot of Dance of Thieves. I'm on page 330, chapter 38. I haven't actually been like reading this. I've been listening to the audiobook. I wasn't planning on like just listening to the audiobook, but I just am really like wanting to listen to this story just because I can't get really into like reading it. I have read a couple chapters, but getting distracted when I'm reading it. And I've just been like really into like doing some coloring in. So I've been listening to it while I've been coloring in and then just before I clean the house for an hour like vacuuming and washing the sh benches down and stuff like that um, and I've been listening to it then now my thoughts about the book I am enjoying it obviously but I don't think I would enjoy it as much if I was reading it because I'm actually a bit confused I don't actually know exactly what's going on like I know what's going on but I don't know like the exact conflict of like the political kind of thing and they're not enemies <laughs> they're not enemies like at the start i was like i think they're gonna be like enemies and then they're gonna be like lovers and then they're gonna go back to enemies and then they're gonna blah, blah, blah. but it's not that okay it's bad it's like it's like enemies by that i mean like they were like enemies for like five seconds and it wasn't really enemies it was more just like they were mad at each other and then they were lovers which that was really cute probably like my favorite part of the book was them chained together because like perfect and then i had a feeling that it was going to go back into like them being enemies but it hasn't it's still really cute it's just not enemy lovers i've said this once and i'll say it again the only true enemy lovers that i've read is nina and matthias nina and matthias and they're literally a side romance plot the most amazing execution of enemies lovers i did expect this book to be like full on enemies lovers and it's not and i think the reason why nina and matthias which is from six of crows i think the reason why they are enemies is because they literally are like different is it like religions different races i don't really know the correct like term but they literally have like conflicting like upbringing so like he literally has been raised to kill her kind and her her kind has literally been raised to like hate his kind so it's so fucking perfect but with this one even though it is kind of similar to Nina and Matthias's situation it's not as um, powerful it's not as deep and the characters don't really care for that long that's why it doesn't really work out as like an enemy lovers so but the relationship has a lot of tension and angst and the guy is like down bad I'm gonna keep listening to it and do some more coloring in because I'm obsessed. I have finished Dance of Thieves and you may be wondering how the hell did you finish it in literally I think it was like a day because I started it yesterday and it doesn't feel like I did but basically I had a lot of free time and I was just listening to this whenever I could and I was really enjoying it. The romance was so cute and I'm really excited to either listen or read the next book. I just feel like I was anticipating this read like so much and it wasn't what I expected it to be so this is actually why I don't know I just feel like this cover doesn't really give YA so it was like a very well built fantasy book but kind of had some things that were like YA like like the aspects of like the writing and stuff but it was still really well done so it was kind of like a mix of both which is really good because I like it when people write YA and they don't write it like dumb because like you know you're young you're dumb whatever I think I'm gonna give it a four four stars or 4.5 I don't know I feel like I might give it 4.5 I still don't really consider this like full enemy to lovers so I'll be back when I have picked out a new book hello I'm currently reading one for my enemy by Olivia Blake and I haven't read any books by her yet I actually own a copy of the Atlas 6 and this is Carrie Can Reads five star read. I think I'm like 15% in and yeah I'm reading it on my Kindle. I'm really enjoying it. It's a Romeo and Juliet retelling and I'm pretty sure the people who are Romeo and Juliet are like the younger siblings. Like for a second I thought it was going to be this other character because his name was like Rome or something like similar to Romeo but I don't think it is. But yeah I'm really enjoying it. The vibes are really good and even though the like two characters aren't together all the time it's still really interesting and 
and it has really good family dynamics and like you know it's got some magic like obviously not heaps has happened but I really like the way it's written and set out it's actually really surprising me and if it keeps going how it is then honestly it could be a five star may I don't know like it really could be but yeah I'm gonna keep reading this is where the video takes a bit of a turn so I was really enjoying one for my enemy but then it took a complete different direction in retrospect I should have seen it coming it's literally a Romeo and Juliet retelling but I just didn't and it took me out of the story I then tried to get into Empire Storms couldn't do that then tried to get into beach read couldn't get into that then I tried to read a little life which I got halfway through a bit too depressing then I decided to read Crooked Kingdom which I was in the middle of and I knew that Carrie can read loves this duology and loves Crooked Kingdom as well hello I'm back and I've read about just like 20 pages but I thought I'd just update because I'm already sucked in and the reason why I have like postponed reading this book is because I was like kind of scared I wouldn't be able to get back into it straight away and then I would really not want to start reading it and I loved the first book so I knew that I was gonna love this one and I just stopped reading it and then I couldn't get back into it it was like a whole thing that I thought if I'm gonna do this challenge or this video idea I'm gonna start with the book that I've been like the most don't want to read just in not in the sense that it's a bad book just in the sense that like I'm scared kind of about stuff that's gonna happen at the end of this book I'm gonna read it anyway page 206 and I'm already obsessed <laughs> Obviously, I haven't read like a crazy amount, but I've been trying to read it whenever I have spare time. We went out for a walk today, so I couldn't really read them, but I'm going to read now after I've finished doing some editing. Yeah, I'm on page 249. I already loved the characters, but just getting back into it has made me be like, why did I procrastinate reading this so much? And I know why. It's because someone dies. I'm just like reading this and I'm kind of thinking like, oh, they're going to die. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But yeah, I'm going to read this after I've done some editing or maybe I might just start reading it now because I'm in the middle of a chapter. It's getting good. a while since the last clip yesterday i was doing a bit of yard work and stuff and because it's been a while since the last clip i kind of stopped reading crooked kingdom i just it wasn't a book it was just like i just couldn't focus on reading oh i wanted to read funny story that's what happened i was like i'm just don't think i'm gonna pick it up so i listened to it yesterday and i think i had about 10 chapters left it was so good like listening to it i feel like when you listen to fantasy it's really hard to like understand what's going on but because I already knew everything like all the characters and all that it was like really easy and it was like probably the best way I could have ended that book because of something that happens which even while listening to it it was sad but I feel like if I read it I would have been crying I wouldn't have read it quick enough and it just would have taken forever so after I listened to it I decided on 4.5 I do think if I reread it then it would be a five stars but because it just took me so long I'm like nah it ain't a five stars but six of crows five stars the whole world the whole characters five stars and the ending was like so perfect except for what happened if you know you know well a quick little recap i read tomorrow 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 and because this has been filmed over such a long period of time my final rating is a 4.5 which i think i said that in the video i think if i reread it i would give it a five stars from like where i'm at with like what i like in reading it doesn't meet all my standards but it is a phenomenal book and piece of art and then I read Dance of Thieves or well, actually I listened to most of it you know most of it's kind of gone out of my head I do think it will be a book that I'm gonna want to reread I think if I do reread it I'm really gonna like it and I just don't think it's enemies lovers people say it's real enemies lovers and I just don't from what I heard and what I was listening to it just it wasn't enemies lovers it was kind of rivals it wasn't enemies though and then I tried to read one for my enemy which I stopped reading because something happened 
this was just something happened in the book and I just wasn't expecting it and it just took me out and I was just like oh my god I cannot do this but I do think I will get back to that one day and properly read it because the first 20-ish percent was amazing really well set out and it was really interesting because it kind of had Shakespeare themes and all that which is obvious because it's literally based off of Romeo and Juliet most of the books you read or fantasy books sometimes have a Shakespeare element and it's quite interesting then I tried to read Empire Storms that lasted like five seconds I could not get like back into it I will one day and then I tried to read Beach Read. Funnily enough, I'm reading Beach Read right now. Didn't finish it for this video though. This will be in another vlog. I'm enjoying it, but in the video I couldn't get into it. And then I settled on Crooked Kingdom, which I have finally finished. Like I said, 4.5. Amazing. I love this world and I can't wait to reread Six of Crows. I just think it was really good. I just think I wasn't in the right like mindset to read a book that was really long. I couldn't focus. I need to fix my brain and really get to like focusing and not getting distracted and picking up my phone because it's not the vibes but i really hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.